Hey everybody, it's the Purple Toad here, coming at you live from the Black Abyss that is my basement, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda, The Windbreaker. Get it? Be be because, because, because the pig is like, he's like farting and like, and, and breaking wind is like when you fart and like, uh, alright, forget it, we're throwing the piggy in the sea. Hey everybody, it's the Purple Toad here, coming at you live from the Black Abyss that is my basement, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we got absolutely nothing done, and in this episode, we are going to be doing some stuff that will actually be relevant to the plot. So let's start off this episode by checking the mailbox. Good morning. Let us wrap up to it. We have one letter. Here is your letter. I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please th throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance! Do you have a need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices. But we only have one of each! If you're interested, go, go to the shop ship near Roxbury Island. First come, first serve. I can't wait to serve you. And for those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Roxbire Shop Ship. Beetle, you only... You work alone, dude. We get... Why did he give us a green rupee? What the heck? Um, maybe it's like... Cole's cash, where you can only use like it at his shop ship or something like that. Beetle, you, you don't have anyone else. It's only you who works at your shop ship, so it's not assistant manager. I guess you are the assistant manager if you're the only one who works. Um, there. So, but yes, that is the special Beetle's shop ship. Uh, they will sell very, very, very nice things, like the piece of heart that he was boasting about. So... Um, I'm gonna play the Song of Passing right quick, because I want to do something on Windfall before Nightfall, or no, during Nightfall. Ha, huh, get it, that's really hilarious. Um, sorry I haven't recorded in a, wi in a while. Um, I've just kind of been really super sick, like, what the? Did I go over an edge or something? Huh, that was weird, he just jumped randomly. Um, I've been really super sick lately, and just kind of took a little break uh, of, of doing daily videos. Um, I hope you don't mind, but um, we are going to be getting a treasure chest right now. So, this chest requires it to be nighttime, and it requires you to play the wind song, or the Wren's Requiem. Requiem? Requiem or Requiem? I think it's Requiem, but I'm not sure. Alright, so we're going to do, do, uh, we'll do Southwest. Southwest, I think that's right. Southwest Airlines, sponsor. No, just kidding. All right, so let's pull out our Deku Leaf and sail to this magnificent island. Woo! Boom. You got to time that really well, so be very careful. Um, how do we do this? Do we, like, do something? Uh, maybe we turn it back to daytime? Uh, is... Because uh, usually, I, if I remember correctly... We can get this chest. Come on, Mr. Chest, and it's gone. Uh, hello? Um, I'm gonna play the song again, and hopefully something happens. Can we do it? Can we do it? Alright, the chest is here. Um, do I have to do something? I'm, I'm in the chest. I'm, uh... I know it's something easy. Do we have to, like, is there, like, a revealing song? Whoa! Oh, that's really cool. Wow. That is really weird. Um, yes, but, but, all right, you know what? Um, I'm going to pause, and, or I'm going to cut here and find out what to do in this chest because I feel like I should be knowing what to do, but I don't know what to do because I'm not very, very smart. So I'll see you guys when we figure out, or I figure out, what to do with this shimmering chest that makes my bow look all weird. See you guys then. All right, well, it looks like we can't do anything with this chest just yet. But if you saw out of the corner of your eye over there, um, we, er, whoa, it just disappeared. But there was a long pillar of shimmering light over there. So let's go investigate, because what do we know that has long shimmering lights? Treasure charts, of course. So this is one of the special treasure charts 
that requires you to have uh, one of the, yeah, a treasure chart, not special treasure chart, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so, if we sail very much strategically, this is a lot easier with the swift sail, because you can actually change the direction of the wind and not have to dare to mosey around to find the chest like I did back in, like, episode 7 or so. Um, I don't keep track of episodes, so that is completely wrong. Purple rupee? What? But this is a treasure chart! Usually treasure charts give you, like, silver rupees. It, it, that was just, like, more work for me to do just to find a... I could have just gone to any old fishing spot to get that. Jeez, game, come on. Spoil me a bit. All right, well, um, as I said in the intro, we are going to be making some progress here. Pro hopefully. Very much, very much, hopefully. Um, so we're just going to kind of be sailing here for a while. Um, a trick I forgot to mention is that, oh, there it is. Oh my god. Yes, this is it. Okay, so, um, like I was saying, on very, very rare occasions, you will be at the right place at the right time when it's night. And you see that pirate ship on the distance? That is the ghost ship. It is, oh, it's my favorite place in this entire game. All right, so listen to the music that plays when you get close to it. It's really cool. And then it disappears without a trace. So creepy. Alright, but once you get away from it, it will appear again. So, how to get on the ghost ship. This actually really, really confused me uh, the first time I played this. Um, turns out, you just need to kind of run right into it. And then you get on it. I think. Does that work? That does not work. Maybe we need something else. Um, because I know there is a ghost ship chart that will tell you where the ghost ship is and when it like appears. Um, so can we try this again? Run right into it? Will this work? No, it won't work. Alright, well, I'm going to uh, try it one more time and not take away my sail when I get hit the ship. Alright, come on, ghost ship. Come on. I've been waiting for a while to show you. Oh, I'm making a big U-turn here. Alright, right into the hole. Woo! Boom. All right, yeah, it doesn't seem to work. Um, we will definitely, that is required to com the completion of this game, getting on the ghost ship. So we will be doing that in a later episode. But right now, let's do the task at hand and go to the Forsaken Fortress. Woohoo! So, um, yes, this is where Sister Errol and all those girls with pointed ears are being captured, or held captured, held captive. Um, so we are going to go rescue them. Yes, the ghost ship is so cool. Uh, it's, it just adds a whole new level of just coolness to this game. And it was already off the charts in coolness. Um, so as I was saying before the ghost ship oh so rudely interrupted us, was that uh, with the Swiss sail, it does change the direction of the wind. So if you don't want to play the boring winds requiem real like a bunch of times... Uh, you don't want to play that a bunch of times. You can actually just, like, take your boat out, use the swift sail, um, and then, like, swir swerve to the direction that you want the wind to go. So, and then, that way, you can just be on your merry way and not have to play the wind's requiem, and the wind will just be wherever you would like it to be. So, the Forsaken Fortress for round two. Um, getting into the fortress this time will not be so easy, though. So, let's try to find out how to get in. Oh boy, so we got the searchlights out again. Oh, and it switches directly to night the second we get close. So, oh, we got the cool Forsaken Fortress theme playing again. Uh, we see these cannons. Oh my god, lag. Jeez. Okay, um, that was kind of strange. So, we're going to equip the bombs here, because we need the bombs to get rid of these cannons that are blocking our way. So, oh my god, this is lagging like uncrazily. Oh my god, this is unplayable! Are you kidding me? Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go with it here. Um, okay, so, let's aim. Alright, we can't get it. We're too far away. So let's go closer. Alright, All right, bombs, you have met your match. Other bombs! Pew pew! Alright, yes, these bombs will hurt you. No, duh. Um, so we need to take out, I think there was two cannons. So I think we got both of them, did we? 
did we? Yes, we did. All right, so uh, we just kind of want to make our way around this place and aim at those dang cannons because we can't get in until we destroy all of them. So there you go. Thank you very much. Um, there is a beetle ship around here. I no, beetle wouldn't be stupid. Even beetle wouldn't be stupid enough to come around here. Um, so I think there is a shop ship. Now there might not be a shop ship though. So if you run out of bombs, don't worry. But just in case, uh, stack up on bombs before you go because that is very, very helpful for your completion. Oh, someone's aiming. Oh boy, we forgot one. All right, well, let's go meet this foe with our wind sail. Hey, I'm gonna kill you with a sail. All right, we haven't gotten hit yet. I s oh jeez, I almost spoke too soon. Oh, we haven't gotten hit yet, which is very nice. So let's get rid of you. Did I kill you? Uh, you gotta hit him free, yes I did. So you gotta hit him pretty on point there, or else they will not get destroyed, which is not very good for us. Oh boy, here is where the armada is. Just tons of cannons here. Um, do not sit in one place for so long, or else you will not, or you will regret it. Wow, I'm making quick work. These guys didn't even see me. I guess I'm sitting so far away that uh, they just kind of forgot that what their, what their job was. Okay, so whoopsies, I didn't mean to do that. This is a bad place. I bet there's sharks swimming all around Link. A uh, good thing is sharks can't eat Link, like as in other games do. Like when you get out of the ship, you gotta, you're gonna get eaten by sharks. No, nope, the the sea creatures are very kind to Link, and they will not kill him unless he's on the ship, in which case they will just try to throw him off and eat him, which is not very nice of them. All right, so there's not really much to do around here other than get rid of these dang cannons. Um, that guy is doing his job trying kill us i think that's all of them uh, i may be wrong um i also okay did we even need to destroy all those i think we did can i get in all right that didn't work it doesn't seem to be you've got to be kidding me you got to be kidding me did i even i didn't even need to take out all those cannons did i Oh, I take back what I said about we making progress in this episode because we're not going to be making progress in this episode. Uh, Ken has been likely been aware of our little incursion, incursion already, insurgent already. But you have the master sword. The sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, nothing can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Alright, so yes, now we have the Master Sword, so up for round two, Forsaken Fortress, even though I already said that. Um, now you don't really have to worry about the searchlights. You do not have to take them down, which is very, very nice, if I do say so myself. Um, oh boy, alright, that did not get me. Uh, looks like they only have one searchlight going. But here, a new foe appears, Shadow Ganon. And he is very not nice, and he's got one skeletal hand. And, you, and the, the way to defeat him is the way that you defeat Ganon in Ocarina of Time. So, you need whenever... Oh, boy. Uh, hello, man. All right, so, where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. All right, so whenever he throws one of these balls of light down, you want to deflect it back at him. And you will just play a round of tennis with him, with him, which is very nice. And then you just strike him down when he's on the floor. All easy peasy. I think he's not dead yet, so let's do this. Um, Shadow Ganons aren't the hardest bosses, or mini-bosses in the world, um, because you just kind of need to time your button presses very nicely, and then he will die, please, there we go. Alright, uh, please, searchlights don't get us, uh, die, 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 Alright, cool, um, alright, one more hit on him should do it, I think. So, volley, 30 love, 20 love, I'm not sure how you score in tennis, oh, that was much quicker than his other times, I think. So, let's get him and defeat the evil Shadow Ganon. And the searchlight gets us and we get thrown in prison. Oh no, but it looks like he's not dead. He just kind of flees away because he knows Link is way too cool for him. And Link is kind of looking around all crazy-like. We hear Ganon's evil laughter. And then the door will open for us, or both doors will open for us. Which is most appreciated. And a chest will open. And this chest has one of my favorite items in the entire game. Yeah, these searchlights don't really do anything. Uh, they're... F oh, no, no, no! The Delens will come after us! Okay, that's that's what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm really not sure of the official name of De the Delens. I'll put it on screen right now so I stop calling them Delens. We get the Skull Hammer! This is the most powerful item other than the Master Sword you will get in the game. Some enemies will get sunned by the shockwaves it causes when you pound the ground with it. So yes, now we can pound in those pegs that we saw on those fairy islands that I said I couldn't get into. So let's equip this. Um, that dang Delen, or both Delens are bothering us. So I guess that's what happens if you get spotted by the searchlight. It'll just kind of, well, sorry. It'll just kind of shoot some Delens off at you. So now, with the skull hammer in hand. Oh, jeez, searchlight, give it a rest, will you? Jeez. Uh, Delens, please stop it. Uh, they are very, the skull hammer is very handy in battle. Uh, I said handy in battle. Ooh, it flattens the Delens like they're nothing. Oh boy, don't jump off the cliff, Link. Please don't. Okay, Delens, please stop coming. Uh, Alright, um, so our task, or our goal, is let me check the map here, because we already have the map of the Forsaken Fortress, because we've already been here before. 
So, our goal is to go save our sister, as I said a million times before. Um, all the chests are open, which is interesting. Oh, uh, well, because we were already here before. So, let's keep infiltrating the base. Um, we, uh, there was an X marking the spot on the map here. So, luckily, this won't be as dreary as the time when we first came to the Forsaken Fortress. Because we won't have to take out these dang, dang, uh, what are they called? Cannon, no, no. No, what am I saying? Uh, 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 searchlights. We won't have to take out the searchlights. Um, I'm going to destroy this Bacoblin here. That's what they're called, Bacoblins. I learned that from PBG, so thank you. Are you seriously looking around like what the heck just hit me when there's a small boy in bright green shooting an arrow right at your face? Oh, jeez. These Bacoblins are really stupid. Um, alright, dude. Can you please just die? Alright, well, I guess we're just going to keep on peppering him with bullets here. And finally he dies. We just shoot one more for good luck. Oh, Joy Pendant. Can I deck a leaf over here? Thank you very much. Awesome. So, do not try to run into these pegs because, as you can see, they're covered with nails. And that would not feel too good if you ran right into one. So, the good thing about coming back to the Forsaken Fortress for a second time is that those uh, moblins that were so, so evil and very uh, hard to dodge the first time we were here, we can actually take them out now because we are so cool. So... This terrible part where we had to like hide in the barrels. Um, he okay. So when he throws his lamp lamp at us this time, oh geez, these ones are much fiercer. Oh, very nice, mo Moblin. All right, so yeah, we can take him out with a few swings. Uh, I still have memories of that time when I tried to sneak past these guys in a barrel. That was really cool. Um, so just take rid of this guy or get rid of this guy, and that is it. See, we completed the first floor of the Forsaken Fortress or the first two floors of the Forsaken Fortress faster, like 20 times faster than we did the first time. That was like a 30 minute video, jeez. Alright, so now we are finally at our destination. So let's open this big door. And go up the stairs. Yes, these stairs are rollable, which is very nice. Um, oh no, I hear Delens. Oh, I hear Delens. Alright, goodbye Delens. Please go away. Alright, I guess you can just run away from them, not have to deal with them. But hey, Link's a man. He rolls away. He doesn't run away. Jeez, what did you think? Okay. Well, I guess Link's a man wearing tights. And you don't argue with a man wearing tights. So the good thing, another good thing about coming back to the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, no. Yes, it might have been actually good for us to take out those lights. Um, oh, no. Okay, Delens, you're really bothering me here. Uh, because if those lights do spot you... Uh, it is not good, because they will start shooting cannons at you. And as we are on a very, very precarious surface, that would be not very good for us. Delens, please go away. Please go away. If you fall down here, it is not good. Not good at all. Alright, please, please, no cannons, no cannons, no cannons, no cannons, please, please. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Please, just go away. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, Link. Alright, um, okay, so we evaded the cannon fire for now, uh, but that will not last forever. Uh, I'm gonna siddle and hope for the best. Please don't hit me! Please don't hit me! Please don't hit me! Please don't- Ah! You've gotta be kidding me! Ah! Well, it looks like I have to go- You know what? I'm gonna actually, um, speed up and get, um, I'm, I'm gonna go and actually take out those lights- so we won't have trouble when we have to siddle around. Um, so I'm going to go after those lights, and I will speed up and play some more jazzy Zelda tunes. I hope you liked when I did that last time. Um, this might take a little longer than uh, when I was destroying all those foes in Hyrule Castle, though. So I will see you guys after I have taken out all those searchlights, and we are back up at the precarious siddling place. See you guys then. Okay, um, really quick... Um, these are a new enemies here. They are called Floor Masters, I think. Floor Masters, that's probably right. Um, so yeah, they're just these hands that go out of the ground. And if they grab you, they will not be very nice. And they'll, like, suck you down into the ground. And they will kill you, and that will not be very good. So now I'm going to speed things up and play music. And I will see you guys back when I'm done doing the things I have to do. Peace! Alright, another new mechanic here. As I was saying the first time we were here, 
Um, these statues are very not nice, and they will shoot lasers at you. So you want to be very, very, very careful. I'm going to try to get up these ladders here. Or I'm going to try to get this treasure chest here. It's just kind of sitting out in the open. Um, so what will be inside? A yellow rupee. Very nice. Um, so, yeah, why aren't you shooting at me, Mr. Laser Man? I very obviously went in your line of sight. The Reaper's line of sight. Shout out to all those Kid Icarus uprising lovers out there who got that reference. Ha ha. All right, so, oh, nice, Link. You grabbed onto the bedpost. All right, now I will see you when I'm done doing the things I have to do. Peace. Alright, we are finally back to where we started from. Alright, cool. So I've taken out all three pairs of lights, so the bombs will not bother us any longer. Um, the only thing we have left to worry about is the Delens that are very, not very smart, and that one just jumped off, and he's glitching all over the ladder. And, uh, okay, buddy, I'll let you do what you're doing over there. Um, so it would have been very, 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 very much quicker to just kind of sit along here, and try our luck with the bombs and hope that they didn't hit us. But hey, you got to listen to some cool music, which is, uh, is super cool and uh, is great. So, we're kind of making our way up the castle, or the fortress here. And, um, this is the place where we last fought the Bokoblin the first time we came here to the Forsaken Fortress. So let's pound this peg. Um, so yes, now instead of getting our sword back, we just need to pound the peg. How the heck is Link carrying this huge skull hammer? This thing must weigh like 20, no, 50 pounds, and Link's just like wielding it around like it's a little twig. Alright, so, let's go into the room that we last saw Errol and all the girls. Link's being very cautious this time, because he knows that the bird can be very, very sketchy and sneaky. And it looks like things are okay. And there's Errol! Big Brother! You're okay! I was worried! Link's not very sentimental, he just wants to find a way out. The cell won't open that easily. Oh, now you decide to show up, Miss Tetra! With your pirate buddies. I don't remember the guy on the right side or your left side. Uh, there you go. Acting before you think, as usual. Wow. The brutes. I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? It was about to come flying in here after you again. Well, gee, thanks, Tetra. Oh, no. Oh, <gasps> what? The Triforce, it means something. That sword? Where did you get that? It's probably worth a lot of money. Are you? Is it even possible? How could it be? Hmm, well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their fa fathers back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. 
Jeez, Tetra, I thought you were actually being nice, but I guess not. Yay, Errol's back, and there's nothing wrong in the world. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But isn't there something you still need to take care of? Yes, there is. If you're worried about your sister, don't don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safety back to your little island. Normally, I expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time it's my treat. Gee, thanks, Tetra. You're so generous. Listen, Errol, your brother still has some things to skate, take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. Dude, he's like ten, and Errol's like seven. <laughs> He'll be back soon, so don't you waste nights and quiet until he returns, okay? But, big brother... Link's like, I have no emotion. Miss Tetra, we have to hurry. The bird will be here any second. Gonzo, excellent. You're just in time. Take this one for me. Huh? But she's... She's fine. Just do as you're told. Jeez, why do they even take orders from this woman? Big Brother! Oh, that's weird. Link's belt looked like the little symbol that appears when it wants you to, like, keep going. Perp turd, we'll be back. I swear it. Hmm... Um, empty promises, Tetra. And there's the bird. So it looks like it's our time. Our time has come. And the door ominously closes behind us. Uh-oh. It looks like the entire island's going down. And the bird drops in. Oh, boy. He doesn't look too nice. And we will be confronting Mr. Featherbrain here in the next episode. Hopefully the water doesn't drown us in the meantime. See you guys next time.